they are flashy and they are everywhere but is rgb just for show or is there more going on inside that glowing case in this video we are diving deep into the colorful world of computer rgb lighting what is it how it works why people are obsessed with it and how you can use it to actually enhance your pc setup whether you love the glow or think it's a gimmick there's something here you didn't know and no it's not just about looking pretty so let's do this What is RGB lighting? RGB stands for red, green, blue. These three colors mix to create millions of colors. Think of it like your screen pixels. Tiny lights working together to show any color you want. How does RGB lighting work in a PC? RGB lights are built into component, fan, RAM, motherboard, and even SSDs. Or Async Asus, Mystic Light MSI, or IQ Corsair. You can set color to match your mood. Cycle like a rainbow or sync with music or game action. Here's a cool demo to help you understand RGB lighting. Take one RGB LED and connect its red, green and blue pins to three separate potentiometers. Now slowly turn the knobs. Each one adjusts how much voltage goes to that specific color. By mixing different levels of green, red and blue, you will see new colors appear just like your PC does. This shows how RGB works under the hood by adjusting the voltage or brightness on each color channel to create different shades. It's a hand-on way to see how software does the same thing electronically with PLUM pulse with modulation. Fascinating, isn't it? Types of RGB. Basic RGB, one color at a time for all light. Works on 12 volt with a four fin connector. ARGB, addressable RGB. You can control each light individually for crazy effect. It works with five volt and three fin connector. Where can you add RGBs? Case fans, RAM sticks, CPU coolers, GPU backplates, LED strip inside the case, and even keyboards and mouse pad. Because why not? How do you control it? Most motherboards have RGB headers where you can plug your lights. The software lets you tweak effects, brightness, and speed. Some setups work with voice assistants or mobile apps. The RGB effect performance? Nope. Unless you count emotional performance, an RGB build feels faster. The power draw is tiny, so your toaster probably use more electricity. But here's the where people mess up. They either overdo it and turn their PC into a disco ball or buy incompatible part, and nothing sinks. Now you have got half your case glowing red, and the other half stuck in a rainbow puke mode. Let's fix that. First, check compatibility. Ensure your RGB components speak the same language. For example. If your motherboard only support RGB, don't expect it to control a RGB based component. They run on different voltage and signals. Second, plan your layout. LED strip behind your monitor or under the desk, cool. RGB on RAM, fans, GPU black pit and SSD, balance and clean. RGB everywhere with no thoughts, looks like a unicorn exploded. Third, less is more. Subtle underglow or slow color fade can look way cooler than a rainbow stroke. Use lighting to highlight, not to blind. Bonus tips: Make RGB work for you, not the other way around. Monitor CPU, GPU temperature with color blue for cool, red for hot. Instantly tell you if your PC is cooking itself. Audio visualizer mode: RGB pulses to the beat of your music or game explosion. It's like your PC is dancing with you. In-game effect: Some games syncs with RGB. Flash red when you low on health and glow green when you level up. All of this make RGB not just cool but clever. RGB isn't just eye candy anymore. When done right, RGB turns your setup into something you actually enjoy looking at, and that might just make you want to sit and work or game longer. So the next time someone says RGB is useless, just smile and you know how it works, where to use it, how not to screw it up, and why it's way more than just light. It is the soul of your setup. Want to know how to install an RGB heatsink on an NVMe SSD? Watch this video, and thanks for watching.